Hey guys, my name is Boris. I'm a physician assistant, and this is going to be day five of our Pants Physician Assistant National Certifying Exam Review. We're going to pick another note card out of my gigantic stack of note cards that I use to study for the pants myself. And this note card is going to be risks for retinal detachment. Risks for retinal detachment. Give me a couple of things that might increase your risk for having a retinal detachment. I'm gonna give you a few seconds to think of an answer. Okay, the major risk for retinal detachment is trauma or surgery. So for instance, like a cataract removal. So on exam, it might come up as a question, multiple choice, you know, which of these patients is at most risk for having a, you know, acute retinal detachment. It might show, you know, 45 year old male with a history of diabetes. It might show, you know, 36 year old female with a history of Parkinson's, a 22 year old male with a uh, recent concussion in the last two weeks or a 65 year old male who just had a cataract removal surgery in the last four days. So obviously the answer would be D, the 65 year old male who just had a cataract removal because trauma and surgery, particularly eye surgery obviously, is going to be uh, the major risk for retinal detachment. Now also having just thought of those uh, answer choices, I think actually the male who just had a concussion in the last few days uh, might also be, I'm not sure about equally, but also at high risk for retinal detachment because they just had a head trauma. So uh, probably a bad answer choice. I actually just made those up on the spot. However, just kind of drives the point home that surgery and or trauma, particularly to the eye, is going to be your major risk factor for retinal detachment. Okay. Now, I'm going to do you one better. I'm going to talk a little bit more about retinal detachment because if you're thinking about risks for who might get a retinal detachment, probably not a bad idea to also know some of the symptoms and also the treatment and also the worst place to have a retinal detachment. So I'm going to make this video just a little bit longer and I'm going to ask you three more questions about retinal detachments, okay? So first off, what are the symptoms of a retinal detachment? Symptoms of a retinal detachment are painless monocular, one eye, painless monocular vision loss, floaters, flashing lights, or worst case scenario, the curtain fall sensation of just a black curtain completely fell over your eye. You have completely no vision in one of your eyes. That is, and it's painless and it doesn't hurt. That is symptoms of a retinal detachment. So floaters, maybe some flashing lights, and then ultimately the curtain fall, complete blackness in one eye that is painless, those are symptoms of a retinal detachment. What is the treatment if you suspect or you know have a diagnosis of a retinal detachment? This one should be obvious. Treatment for a retinal detachment is a STAT, immediate ophthalmology consult. So emergency room where there are ophthalmologists and you better know which ones in the area have those because not every emergency room has on-call ophthalmology. Uh, so you better know which emergency room does and or, you know, an ophthalmologist local office if they happen to still be open, you know, calling them, seeing if you can get the patient into one of those immediately, like right now, uh, because they're going to need surgery pronto. Okay. So the treatment for a retinal detachment is emergent ophthalmology consult. And then what is the worst place to have, uh, the worst part of your eye, the worst place to have a retinal detachment? That is going to be, give you a couple seconds, what's the worst place? It's gonna be the macula. The macula is the worst place to have a retinal detachment. Okay, so four questions just in review. What is the major risk factor for having a retinal detachment? That's gonna be trauma or surgery. The symptoms are painless, monocular, keywords, painless and monocular, floaters, flashing lights, and or the curtain fall completely blacked out vision. The treatment is a STAT emergent 
ophthalmology consult, and the worst place to have a retinal detachment is going to be the macula. See you guys in the next video for our pants review series coming up.